Okay, guys, what is up? How are you doing? So with interest rates shooting up, we've got buyer sediment very low right now. And we've got market watch calling for 25% less transactions by the end of the summer. We do have a lot to talk about here. I want to give you my thoughts and I want to tell you where I think the hole is in the market where we can go and get more listings. I know inventory is low and it's really tough to go out there and get listings right now. But I feel like there's a massive opportunity and we're seeing it over the last week here um, at my office with my team. Uh, we're having a lot more sellers uh, tell us that they're thinking about doing something very soon. And it's because of what is happening in the market right now. So I want to break all this stuff down for you and uh, give you this um, you know, opportunity that I feel like everyone should jump on 100%. First, I want to apologize. I haven't done a video here in about a week or so. I took my family to Puerto Rico. Uh, we had an incredible time, really unplugged. It was the first vacation where it was zero work for me in a long time. And I got a little kite surfing in, and um, we just had a really incredible time, really checked it out down there. Um, outside of that, I am doing cold call wars. If you guys haven't seen it, it's where we go head-to-head. -head. I have two agents go head-to-head -head in a cold call competition, and we've done two of these so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the first eight winners, uh, eight different sessions. I'm going to take the eight winners, and we're going to do a, a bracket-style competition, sudden death rounds, it's going to be incredible. So we already have two winners, and um, so we need six more. So if you would like an opportunity to compete in Cold Call Wars right here live on this YouTube channel, then I'm going to put a link in the description. You can go fill out that form and uh, hopefully get an opportunity to show us what you got. But as far as the market is concerned, um, there's a lot of things going on. And uh, the biggest thing right now is interest rates, of course. Mortgage rates went from, they were in the mid threes about five weeks ago. Now they're at 5%. That's a big jump. Now, still historically extremely low. We know back in 1980, 1981, interest rates were 18%. Coincidentally, back then was the last time we had inflation like this, which just hit 8.5%. So we're in a very strange place there was a there was a prediction by one of the banks that said that we were going to settle out at 4.5 mortgage rate and that was going to be like that through 2024 that's not going to do anything to this market that's not going to cure inflation that's not going to um, put us in a position where we can balance the real estate market out i don't believe that prediction at all i think there's going to be something much more dramatic that happens but what i find interesting is that you know with the interest rates coming up, we've had low interest rates for so long, even lower than what they are now. Um, and we've got sellers who couldn't find a place to buy. They didn't want to sell because they couldn't find a place to buy. Well, that's going to get worse because now not only are they not going to be able to find a place to buy, they're also locked into a lower interest rate. So they don't want to go out there and pay, you know, these high prices. We're at record high prices. They don't want to go out there and pay these record prices and a higher interest rate than where they are right now. We also have the largest generation coming into the prime buying season, uh, home buying years of their life. And that's going to cause more problem with supply and demand. So I don't see inventory changing very much. Um, but we are seeing sellers that we're reaching out to, we're cold calling, we're, we're following up with, you know, we're doing our thing. And we've had an uptick in the number of sellers that we talked to who have told us, yeah, we're thinking about doing something. We know why because they're, they're seeing what's going on too. They see interest rates raising and there's a lot of uncertainty moving forward for the rest of the year. I mean, it, trust me, when I did the video about, um, you know, get ready, prepare for the upcoming housing crash, there was about half the comments said, there's no way you're crazy that the market's gonna crash. Which, by the way, I wasn't saying it's gonna crash. All I was saying was that when it crashes, regardless of when that is, I want you to be prepared for it. I don't want you to sit back and, you know, do what most agents do, kind of just pretend like it's not going to happen. And then when it happens, get caught with your pants down. No, I want us to be completely prepared and ready to take it on and not only survive, but thrive through those moments. Because that's when I really shot up in my career in 2008. I got back in the business and, and you know, I took that moment. And that's what got me to the 100 deals a year, taking advantage of that time. And listen, we may not see that time. All the fundamental uh, indicators in the market say, you know, we have a very healthy market. 
about half the people in the comments of that video, um, they said, yeah, I, I think it's going to crash too. Now, what are they basing that on? Not fundamentals necessarily. I mean, you can figure inflation into the mix. You can figure several other things. But I, I really think we're in this place where nobody knows what's going to happen, you know, and I'm ready for whatever. Um, I'm excited about this market. I'm, I'm thrilled that we're all here together trying to navigate this market. I still stand behind. We're going to lose so many agents. The question is, and I did that video, I'll link that video, that we're going to lose more agents than we ever have before in 2022. Also, the prepare for the housing crash market. I'll link those two videos below. But the only question is, is will we get new agents, you know, as many new agents as we lose in the industry, you know, is that churn going to hold firm? Are we going to be in a net negative, net positive by the end of the year? I think we're definitely going to lose a lot of them just due to the fact that I do feel like we're going to have less transactions. I think that that is a very safe bet that we're going to have less transactions. I don't know about 25% less. I know, I believe it is realtor.com and some of these others, the National Association of Realtors, I think they're calling for more like a, you know, a four to six percent. A decrease in transactions this year, but um, these predictions are just predictions. You know, there were predictions that you know um, real estate prices were going to go down in 2020 in May. Zillow and maybe Core Logic, it was said that real estate prices were going to go down, or maybe Core Logic had it coming up just a tad. Zillow had it at a negative two, and we all know what happened in 2020, guys. These predictions are just predictions, and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day for our business. We just got to go out there, work hard, build our database, build relationships, help people do what they're trying to do. They're always going to be trying to do something for some kind of reason. We got to figure out what that is. So don't let this interest rate spike scare you. Don't let all these predictions scare you. Nobody knows what's going to happen. We got to stand firm on what we believe, and that is closings are going to happen every day for the rest of your life, regardless of what the market does. Transactions will fluctuate. There'll be less some years than others, but we got to get out there and do what we got to do to build our database and build that business up. The quicker we can build our database and build that business up, the quicker we're going to get to consistent transactions and um, you know hitting our goals. So, where I think the hole is in the market, the the huge opportunity right now, honestly, is absentee owners, second home owners, vacation property owners, investors. Um, those are the kind of property owners who aren't living in the property, so they don't have to worry about where they're going to move to. They're not living in these properties. I think this is the biggest opportunity right now because those type of property owners can take the money off the table, right? We're at all time highs. They can take that profit off the table and then either reinvest it. They can sit tight. They can do whatever they want to do. But I think these type of owners are more apt. There's so many agents out there that are, you know, going after primary homeowners and they're telling me, hey, I got a lot of people that would sell, but there's nowhere to buy. OK, quit beating that dead horse. Move over and go 100 percent into absentee owners, vacation property owners, investors, um, second homeowners, stuff like that. Another thing that a lot of agents are coming to me saying is that they have all these buyers and they've wrote multiple offers and they lose every one and they don't know what to do, but they're not doing anything. OK, they're not doing anything to go after sellers to help connect that buyer to a seller. And, you know, our job as a real estate agent is to connect the buyers and sellers. And so if you're just sitting on a buyer waiting on things to come on the market to compete with all the other buyers, you've only done half your job. You've only found 50 percent of the transaction and you're just basically laying down and saying, I'm just going to wait for something to come on the market. You better go all in on trying to connect with these sellers who own the type of properties that your buyer wants. You should be doing everything, door knocking, phone calls, letters, um, emails postcards, everything you can think of, you need to go all in. You should have different projects where you're going after particular subdivisions and complexes for specific buyers that you have. You should be going after all the absentee owners and second home owners. You should be crushing social media. You should be spending an hour or two a day just commenting and liking and creating, um, DMing and just responding and engaging. That's the biggest thing with social media. It's not really the posting and the content. It's it's the engaging that you're doing on other people's profiles. Honestly, um, I think that that is the biggest thing and the most overlooked strategy uh, in in uh, you know in the game. I've been going harder there, and I'm going to go even harder because I see it paying off. 
Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in going after absentee owners and stuff like that, go to Red X. Red X, you can get all the absentee owners. They also have for rent by owners, which are investors trying to rent their properties. Get for rent by owners. Those are people who own probably multiple rental properties, commercial properties, so on and so forth. These are the kind of clients you want to start you know, stacking up as this market continues to navigate through whatever direction it's going to go in. It's going to be very interesting. And again, I'm super excited about this. Um, if you guys want to use Red X, use my link below. Um, you get $150 discount, get GeoLeads Plus, get expireds, go back 10 years worth of expireds, get Storm Dialer, and get for rent by owners. Go ahead and throw them all in there and uh, get busy. It's the cheapest lead generation source you're ever going to find. And you sit there, look at all the people that we do um, cold call wards with. Look at all the people that we do uh, cold call, live cold call sessions with. These people are getting pickups. They're picking up clients and they're doing deals. We have guys that I have two new agents um, that work with me who closed 10 million in their first year. I had a guy 20 months in. This guy started with me 20 months in. He's closed 100 deals strictly just using Red X. That's all he does. Doesn't do social media. Doesn't do anything. He does he does Red X. He does the weekly email. It's nothing crazy. I'm going to put a link to my weekly email below that I sent out today. Um, you guys use my template. Guys, just use all this stuff. This is free information, guys. Um, and anything else I can do to help you, I'm still answering all my messages on Instagram. That's the best place to reach out to me if you need anything. And the 60-day challenge, um, people love it. Um, it's going really well. And, you know, we're getting nothing but incredible reviews. So, don't let this market scare you. That's the whole point of this video. Um, you know, there is a, there's a lot of different data out there. And, you know, I've read through a lot of it. And from what I can tell, nobody really knows what's going to happen. There's a lot of really smart people that think that we're going for, you know, a big recession, you know, coming soon. And there's a lot of people who think there's no way that, you know, this real estate market could get knocked off. So, Listen, at the end of the day, guys, again, you keep doing what you're supposed to do and everything will work out. This is one of the toughest times, I would think, to be a real estate agent, which is why I think a lot of agents are not going to make it you know, through the year, especially when renewals come up. They have to pay and go do CEs and different things like that on top of how tough it is as transactions come down. But I want you guys to keep pushing. I want you guys to keep fighting. I want you guys to keep chasing your dreams. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video.